All right, glutamine. This is the last one of our polar neutral amino acids, so let's talk about it. This is the molecular structure for glutamine. You'll notice that the side chain is very similar to asparagine. It's basically just asparagine with another carbon, so it makes the side chain longer. So similarly, it also has the carboxamide side chain right here, and that's what makes it polar neutral. It's not essential, so we can synthesize it in our own bodies. We synthesize it from glutamic acid, and it's actually it's actually involved in helping sickle cell anemia patients, which was very weird. Now, don't get this confused with valine and glutamic acid. That's the original genetic basis of sickle cell anemia. So valine replaces glutamic acid and hemoglobin from a point mutation in the gene, and that's what causes sickle cell anemia. However, glutamine is different. And if you take it orally, apparently it helps with sickle cell anemia. The reason why this helps is because glutamine is the most common free amino acid in our bodies. That means it's free, it has suffrage. No, I'm kidding. It's free because it's not attached to any proteins and it's just floating around. So it's the most common amino acid that's just chilling, not in any proteins. One of the issues with sickle cell anemia is that it causes high oxidative stress. Now, what is oxidative stress? Oxidative stress is caused by reactive oxygen species, otherwise known as ROS, and these are the free radicals that kind of float around your entire body they're, and they damage your DNA because they're highly reactive and you don't really want a lot of them. Your body normally maintains homeostasis with them by providing antioxidants. They neutralize the reactive oxygen species so these reactive molecules can't harm DNA. Instead, they, they, they just get neutralized by the antioxidants. Now, how exactly sickle cell anemia and the misfolded hemoglobin causes this oxidative stress? I don't even know because when I googled it, the first result that came up was an NCBI article. And you know if you google something and the first result that pops up is a scientific article that'll take you at least 20 minutes to read, the answer is probably very complicated or still in progress of research. So anyway, misfolded protein and sickle cell anemia causes this oxidative stress on your body and that's really bad. So you need antioxidants, right? Well, glutamine can actually be taken up by the body and it increases the antioxidant capacity and ability. So this is good for sickle cell anemia patients. That means that they will have more antioxidants to combat these reactive oxygen species. So that's glutamine. Don't confuse it with glutamic acid and valine for the actual amino acid switch in the protein for hemoglobin. Glutamine as itself, not in a protein, is provided as an oral supplement to help sickle cell anemia. So yeah, that's glutamine.